Bombin auf England. So read the title of a stirring martial song which blared out of loudspeakers all over Germany and the occupied territories during the autumn months of 1940. With the accompaniment of roaring aero engines and the beating of drums, it was an impressive battle hymn. But whatever its psychological effect on the German populace may have been, it was hardly destined to raise the spirits of the personnel of the Luftwaffe. They were fully aware that their bombers did not have the range to attack effectively more than a small area of the British Isles. They knew that the Luftwaffe's lack of a long-range strategic bomber enabled the RAF to concentrate virtually the whole of its defensive strength within a limited area, an area to which the Luftwaffe was forced to confine its attentions. They also knew that this would sap their operational strength. Prototypes of four-engine heavies had been built, but they were abandoned and never saw the production lines. They did, however, possess the Heinkel HE-177 Grief, a long-range twin-engine bomber. An aircraft which was destined to provide the most dismal chapter in the wartime record of the German aircraft industry. Fires in the air, aerodynamic troubles and structural failures all contributed towards the unpopularity of this big bomber when it reached operational units. The faults of this aircraft were recognized too late and when they were recognized, insufficient energy was devoted to eradicating them. There was nothing wrong with the basic design and, had effective measures been taken, the Luftwaffe might have found itself possessing a heavy bomber comparable with if not superior to, the best of the Allied machines of the same type. Aptly named the Grief, this aircraft's chief claim to fame was the fact that it was the only German heavy bomber to attain quantity production during the war years. It was, in fact, one of the very few entirely new German combat aircraft to progress from the design boards to operational service during the conflict. But the advantages that it offered were nullified by the German aircraft industry's inability to devote sufficient effort towards its perfection. In 